Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. I'm here. Welcome, Dinora. Welcome, Martin Castro, Adi, Josabeth, Cristina, Rocío, and Veronica. Welcome, welcome. I will show you the PowerPoint presentation, the PowerPoint presentation. Ready? Here we go. Okay, pre-intermediate, module one, right? Uh, today we are going to practice a conversation, an invitation, and we are going to see a video. The use of would, would, right? Would is the past tense of will. El, el, el modal would es un, una forma del pasado del, del will, right? Cuando nosotros hacemos una invitación y cuando respondemos a esa invitación usamos would, right? And the formula verb plus to plus verb, right? Is this, right? I like to eat. I want to drink. I have to go. I need to speak, etc., etc., right? Vamos a ver esa fórmula ahora. Now no, let's, let's begin, right? Uh, the lesson objective. Dinora, please help me, Dinora. Read the lesson objective for today, please. Okay, this uh, In this lesson, participant will listen to a conversation where wall for invitations is used when making plans. Thank you very much. Wood, right? When you make invitations, invitation right okay good now in the conversation we're going to see this vocabulary listen today is not too much we have only three words soccer match gate sounds fine right now soccer match is is a game right you know that a soccer match has 90 minutes normally right 90 minutes so that's a soccer match Gate is a big door. For example, uh, the one that you have in your garage. If you have garage, you have a gate, right? It's a big door. Sound fine is an expression when you say it's okay, or it's, it's good, it's nice for me. For example, let's go and eat carnitas together, right? Oh, sound fine, okay. Or let's go and see, go to Estadio Cuscatlan, right? Cuscatlan Stadium and to see Alianza versus FAS. Ooh, sounds fine, right? Good game, you know? Sounds fine, yeah? So, sounds fine is an expression we use. Now, please, repeat after me. Soccer match. Gate. Sounds fine. Good. Any question? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Good. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, later we're going to see the conversation in the platform, but today let's continue with the with the PowerPoint presentation, right? And let's go to the second one. Uh, Jennifer, can you help me with the objective? Can you read the objective for the class, please? By the end of this lesson, participants will come. Comprehend, comprehend. The use, comprehend the use of will in question and answer. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Now, so we're going to uh, learn how to use will in affirmative, negative, but especially in questions, right? And how to answer those questions. Remember last time we were practicing with, are you a student? We said, yes, I am. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. But when I make question, would you like to drink soda? You don't say, yes, I am, right? You say, yes, I would. Oh, no, no, thank you, right? So let's see. Here we have uh, examples, right, with affirmative. 
the subject, the modal would, the verb, the preposition to, and the verb, right? Kenneth would like to drink soda. Kenneth would like to drink soda. Eh, por cierto, ya se conectó Kenneth. Ya tengo dos clases de no, de no verlo, Kenneth. Bueno, okay. Kenneth would like to drink soda, it says, right? So, Kenneth is the subject, would is the modal, like is the verb, right? The preposition to and the other verbs. Notice that here we have two verbs, right? Two verbs. But they are divided by the preposition to. So in this case, the main verb is like. El verbo principal va a ser este, like. Y el verbo secundario, que en este caso es un infinitivo, que no es verbo, aunque, aunque sea verbo, no es verbo, es un nombre. To drink, es, viene siendo como un nombre. Ok, como un noun. Y eh, se usa en esta fórmula cuando usamos el modal would, right? Other example. They would like to cross the river. To cross the river. Again, the verb like plus the infinitive to cross. To cross, right? Yosabet would like to see her friend. Would like to see her friend. Marvin would like to eat chicken. Campero chicken, eh, Marvin? <laughs> okay. So that's it, right? And then we have the contractions. How to make contractions with would? Instead of say, I would, I say, I'd. You would, you'd. He would, he'd. She would, she'd. It would, it. We would, with. They would, they'd. Okay? Those are the contractions. And remember that when you pronounce would, the L is mute. Mute, muda, right? So you don't say would. Uh, they would like to. No, no. Eh. All right. It's they would like. They would like, okay? That's the pronunciation, would. Good. These are the affirmative. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Kenneth would like to drink soda. They would like to cross the river. Josabet would like to see her friend. Marvin would like to eat chicken. Good. Now, questions? Do you have questions? How to eh, use the modal would? Yes, yes, Marvin. Eh, would like sería la pronunciación. Would, would like, would like. Uh -huh. Would like, would like. Yes. The pronunciation, right? Es sí, sure. Siempre. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, sure. Sure. Una, una consulta. Ah, siempre. siempre después del would, it debe de ir a like. No necesariamente. Eh, Normalmente es like, pero puedo usar otros verbos como love, I would love, ¿ok? O otros verbos que indiquen que es algo que a usted le agrada, que a usted le gusta, ¿sí? Pero normalmente, okay. normalmente siempre la, eh, las personas usan like siempre, la mayor parte del tiempo, like. Es como cuando usted le... Eh, dice, yo quisiera, ¿verdad? Yo desearía, tengo el deseo de tomarme una soda. <risa> They would like to drink soda, right? Uh -huh, entonces, por eso se usa el would. Y luego viene el verbo, like. Eh, vean que también al verbo no se le agrega S. Aunque Kenneth es una tercera persona, no le ponemos Kenneth would likes. No, ¿verdad? No, no es necesario, no, no necesita la S. Y como le repito, Jennifer, generalmente... 99% de las veces va like en este tipo de preguntas, ¿sí? En este tipo de preguntas, ¿ok? Pero también en, en oraciones comunes y corrientes hay otros verbos también, ¿verdad? Como have, need, want, ¿verdad? Pero ya no son invitaciones. Ya no la están invitando 
o, 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 o no está expresando usted algo que quiere, ¿ah? sino que son otros, otras ideas, ¿verdad? Pero aquí el, el tema de este día es cómo invitar a alguien y cómo saber si alguien quiere o no quiere algo, ¿ah? Ok. Teacher. Ah, yes, yes, Marvin. Please. Y el contraction, ¿cómo se pronunciaría? Uh, perdón, repítame. La contracción del... Ah, se la repito, la pronunciación. Aquí están abajo, miren. I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, id, with, they'd. ¿Ok? ¿Está bien, Marvin? Yes. Yes, ok, good. Eh, una pregunta. Ya, yes, perdón, el, la última para Marvin. Recuérdense que también eh, mañana ya van a tener este video en, en YouTube, ¿verdad? Ahí ustedes conecten con el link y ahí vuelvan a escuchar cuántas veces quieran, ¿verdad? El video. <risa> ok, please. ¿Quién me está preguntando ahí? Mauricio Alarcón. Mauricio. Ah, please, eh, una pregunta. Este, esta frase o esa oración, digamos, tiene que estar es posterior a una pregunta. O solamente puedo no, decir yo deseo ver. No necesariamente. Yo quisiera. Vaya, el tema de este día es preguntarle a alguien qué quiere y la, la persona no responde. Pero yo en el PowerPoint les, les he agregado oraciones afirmativas y negativas para que ustedes sepan cómo estructurar cuando usted quiere algo o cuando no quiere ese algo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver las negativas. Pero eh, sí, se refiere a algo que, algo que usted quiere. ¿Verdad? Si usted está hablando de algo que usted hace regularmente, el presente simple, con el do y el das. Si me habla de algo que pasó, el did. Si me habla del futuro, el will, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, este model es bien polite, por cierto, es bien amable este, este, este auxiliar, ¿verdad? Usted no, por ejemplo, si usted dice, I want, I want a soda, ¿eh? suena algo así como golpeado, ¿no? Quiero una gaseosa. Pero si usted dice, mmm, yo quisiera una gaseosa, ¿no? Suena un poco más suavecito, ¿verdad? Como cuando usted le presta un carro a un amigo, ¿verdad? Yo quisiera manejar tu carro. No, no usted de golpe, quiero manejar tu carro. No, no, tampoco, ¿verdad? Entonces, este auxiliar es, es así. Como algo suavecito para decir o expresar algo que nosotros quisiéramos hacer, ¿ok? Mauricio, ¿contesta eso su pregunta? Sí, gracias. Yes. You're welcome. Ok, now, let's continue, please. Let's continue. Now, in negative, right? In negative, we use the word not. Subject, would, plus not, plus the verb, plus to, plus verb, right? I would not, Kenneth would, would not like to drink soda, right? They would not like to cross the river. Yosabeth would not like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken. No le gustaría comer pollo, right? Okay. So in this case, notice would not is contracted wouldn't. So you can say, Kenneth wouldn't like to drink soda. Okay. They wouldn't like to cross the river. Yosabeth wouldn't like to see her friend. Marvin wouldn't like to eat chicken. Okay, now please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Kenneth would not like to drink soda. They would not like to cross the river. Josabeth would not like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken. Okay, now let's go to the question, right? To the question. Yes, no question. In the yes, no question, remember we have a, a like, like a line, right? Tenemos como una línea. Si se recuerdan el verbo to be, decimos, are you in San Salvador? Yes, I am. Eh, para hablar de habilidades, can you, can you play tennis? Can you? So we use, yes, I can, no, I can, right? When we use the do or does, we answer with that auxiliary, right? Do you, do you live in, in Metapan, for example? Yes, I do, no, I don't. 
So something similar happened with the yes, no question here. But the only difference here is that I use would. Notice, would you like to drink soda? So you say, yes, I would. No, I would. Yes, I would. No, I would. Generalmente, el no, I wouldn't es un poco así como pesadito. ¿verdad? Entonces, casi no se usa. Casi se responde eh, cuando le, a usted le ofrece una gaseosa. Por ejemplo, would you like to drink soda? Usted dice, no, thank you. Uh, I am sick. Estoy enfermo. O me hace daño una gaseosa. Cualquier excusa pone usted. Pero, pero generalmente no se dice, no, I wouldn't. ¿Verdad? Porque suena como que le están dando un regalo y uno malcriadamente dice no. Pero esa es la respuesta correcta. No, I wouldn't. ¿Ok? Pero generalmente a veces, ya en la práctica, pues, la, eh, la gente responde con, un, con una excusa. Sea verdad o no sea verdad, pero le están ofreciendo algo, uno tiene que decir, bueno, gracias, pero, pero acabo de tomar. Ya <ríe> me tomé un litro gaseoso, así que gracias. <ríe> ¿Ok? Good. Now, let's continue. Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? Okay, now please repeat after me. Would you like to drink soda? Remember the intonation, right? Huh? Up, right? Siempre las preguntas de sí, no, siempre hacia arriba las preguntas. Okay. Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? Okay, good. Any question? Do you have questions? Jennifer, questions? No. Okay, so let's continue. Abby, Godofredo, Veronica, questions? Hay preguntas? No, teacher. No, okay. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Godofredo no se me conectó ayer, ¿verdad, Godofredo? Ayer no, no pude. Ah, ok. Disculpas. Pero todo, bien, todo bien, ¿verdad? Andaba lejos por Morazán. Ah, ok, excellent. Very good. No nos invitó a la cena. <laughs> ok, thank you, Godofredo. Thank you. Ok, now. Yendo en enfermo. <laughs> ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Now, no questions. Let's go to the information question, right? Oh, WH question. Listen. WH word would solve the verb preposition to and the verb. Listen. Where would you like to go? Where, WH word, would you, the subject, like the verb and to go? A donde quisiera ir? Where would you like to go, right? When? Would they like to play? What would she like to do? Cuando quisieran jugar ellos, verdad? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que quisieran hacer? Es lo que ella, perdón, quisiera hacer. What would she like to do? Now, please repeat after me, right? Remember the intonation, eh? It's down, falling. Aquí la intonación es para abajo, okay? Repeat after me. Where would you like to go? When would they like to play? What would she like to do? Good. Any question? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the to the platform. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. This is the one. Just give me a second. Okay. Good, now let's go to 4.10, right? The conversation. 
Now let's practice the conversation. We have time to practice. Now everybody's going to practice the conversation today, right? Because we have time. Now please pay attention. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. And participants would listen to a conversation. Invitations is used when making plans conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation as you listen to the audio program pay attention to expressions such as i'd like to and i love to good now please repeat after me please repeat after me give me a second here okay now i have tickets to the soccer match on friday night friday night Soccer match, tickets. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. In this case, I, I love to means I love to go, but it's not necessary to copy go, right? Okay, now please repeat after me. What time does it start? Does it? What time does it start? Start. What time does it start? It's a question, right? What time does it start? at eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Do you want to have dinner at six? Or you can also say, do you wanna have dinner? Do you wanna have dinner? Do you wanna have dinner? Okay, let's repeat like this, repeat this. So, do you wanna have dinner at six? Or you can say the full form, repeat. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I like to. But I have to work late. Uh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. 30. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Gate. That sounds fine. See you there. 
Now again, again. But this time, full sentence, right? Repeat after me, repeat after me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Uh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Now listen to the audio and repeat. An invitation. Repeat. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Sorry, just, I have a message here. Tengo un mensajito. Ah, okay. Por ahí me están haciendo la pregunta, uh, ¿qué significa I like to? ¿verdad? Me gustaría, quisiera, desearía. Eso quiere decir I like to. ¿Verdad? O también, como dije anteriormente, pueden decir I love to. Me gustaría, desearía hacer esto, desearía hacer lo otro. Aquí está el ejemplo, miren, I love to. ¿Mm? Quiere decir que, que sí quisiera, sí desearía hacer eso. Okay. Y esta es la contracción de I would. I would is I'd. Ok. Espero haber contestado su pregunta, Ricardo. Ok, now. Let's practice together, right? Let me see. We're going to start with um, Cristina and Abby, right? Cristina, you're Dave. Abby, you are Susan, right? Ok, teacher. Um, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Mm, I'd like to, but I have to go late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Thank you very much, right? Now, Godofredo, please. You are Dave. And let me see. Jennifer. 
Jennifer, you are Susan, right? Ready? One, two, three. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Where do you like to go? Jennifer? Jennifer, can you hear me? No nos escucha Jennifer, ¿verdad? Vamos, para mientras, quizás se levantó a tomar agüita. Vamos a ver quién nos ayuda. Um, eh, let me see. Dinora, please. Dinora, help me. Dinora, you are Susan. Please answer to Godofredo. Hey, thanks. I love you. What time, what time does it start? At nine. At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me at the gate. That's so fine. See you there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dinora and Godofredo. Eh, por ahí me está diciendo uh, Jennifer que se le fue un ratito el, el internet, ¿verdad? Pero ya, ya está con nosotros nuevamente. Ok. Now, uh, now Marvin Lue and Ricardo. Marvin, you are Dave and Ricardo, you are Susan. Okay, I'll try. I have ticket to soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. Okay. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the standing before the march around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you very much, Marvin and Ricardo. Okay, uh, and like Ricardo say, you can say 7.30 or 7.30. The two pronunciations are correct, right? And okay. Marvin is, let's, let's meet, let's meet, right? Now, Marvin Castro, please. Marvin Castro and, and Josabeth. Marvin, you are Dave, and Josabeth, you are Susan. Ready? Okay, I one, have, two, three. I had tickets to the so soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I had to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 6.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you. Good pronunciation, Marvin and Joseph. But listen, uh, Marvin, it work. You have to pronounce the k, k work, right? And Joseph, work. work. Uh -huh. That's it. And Joseph, stadium. Stadium. Okay. Thank you. Now, Rocio versus Veronica. <laughs> versus. Rocío and Veronica. Rocío, you are Dave, and Veronica, you are uh, Susan, right? Okay, look at you. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Where do you like to go? Thanks. I love to what Ty does. Is at, it starts at eight. That 
Don Gris. So do you do you want to have dinner dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to go late. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven seven is setting. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's so fine. You do the. Okay, thank you very much. Listen, uh, this pronunciation is time. Remember, you have to, to pronounce the, the M. Time, time, right? Okay, now let me see. Uh, Mauricio Alarcón, ya, ya le dimos participación. Uh, Mauricio. No, ¿verdad? Ok. En Luis Canales. Mauricio es Dave en Luis es Susan, ¿right? Ok. Ya, ya había participado, Luis, es que ya me perdió el orden. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, no, no yo ok, no come on, let's no. do it. One, two, three. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday. Would I like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to go have dinner to six at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now let me see. Karen and Mirna, right? Karen, you are Dave, and Mirna, you are Susan, right? Okay, one, two, three. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would 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 you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does sit start? Hello. Hello. Karen. Creo que se le Hola. fue el micrófono. Ok, come on, Karen. Uh, no me había asustado. At 8, Karen. Repeat. At 8. At 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Would uh, I eat like, eat like two? Mm, but, uh, but I, ha I have to go late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds great. See you there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, uh, okay. fr Friday, Friday, good. Good. Start. Start. And listen this this expression. I like to. I love to. I like to. I love to. Okay. Now who's missing? Uh, Jennifer. Hoy sí está el internet, verdad, Jennifer? Sí, ya tenemos internet, verdad. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién más me falta? Ricardo ya, verdad. Todos pasaron ya, pues quizás voy a practicar yo con, con Jennifer. Uh, Ver Verónica sí ya me participó. Okay. Eh, Jennifer. Jennifer, you are Susan and I am Dave. Jennifer, ready? Jennifer, yes? Teacher. Creo que le está fallando el internet. A, a... Yes, teacher. I'm oh, ready. Sí. You're ready. Okay, yes. good. Teacher. Let's do it. Let's do it. Teacher. Uh-huh, yes, yes. 
Um, poster yo, Dave. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Eh, ¿Quién me está hablando que no, no veo en la pantalla? Eh, Luis Canales. Ah, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. No, eh, Luis, you are Dave. And Jennifer, you are Susan, right? One, two, okay. three. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the, at the gate. That was so fine. See you there. Okie dokie. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation, right? Any extra question? No? Okay, now let's go to the video, right? Would plus verb plus two plus verb, right? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus oh, verb. You... Would you like to go out on yes. Friday? Yes, I would. Go to the yes, to I'd go love to. to. Thanks. Yes, I'd, yes, yes, I'd, I'd really go. like to go. Then, yeah. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, Sorry, uh, por ahí hay un micrófono encendido, please turn off. Turn off the microphone, right? Now let's continue. We need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb, comma, but, plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay. Let me see. Save money. To a soccer match? I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thank verb plus two plus verb. Okay, now let's practice the pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? And notice this, right? The person say no. La persona aquí está diciendo no. Pero no dice, no, I wouldn't, right? No, I wouldn't. Eso es lo correcto gramaticalmente. Está bien decir así, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Pero... En la práctica, la gente nunca dice así. La gente no es pesada para contestar, ¿verdad? Porque lo están invitando. Entonces, usan esta estructura. I like to. Me gustaría ir, pero aquí dan una excusa, ¿verdad? Que pueda ser verdad, puede ser mentira, ¿verdad? En el caso de nosotros los hombres, tiene que ser verdad, porque nosotros nunca mentimos, ¿verdad? Ok. But I have to work late. Ok, entonces aquí no le está diciendo no directamente, pero le está poniendo esta razón por la cual no puede, ¿verdad? 
I like to, but I need to save money. Okay? Este no salió tacaño, ¿eh? porque necesita guardar, ahorrar dinero, dice. No puedo ir al estadio, entonces. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Lo siento, pero en lugar de ir al estadio, me voy a visitar a mi papá, dice. Está bien, ¿verdad? Vale. So, these are the way you accept an invitation and when you say no to an invitation. Okay? Now, please, repeat after me. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. And then we have the contraction. The contraction I means I good, right? Good. Do you have any extra question about this? Any question? No, teacher. No? Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, good. So if no questions, so we're going to practice, right? We're going to practice together. We have time today. Hoy este tema da para practicar mucho. O sea, come on, let me see. We're going to go to Mauricio and Luis. Mauricio Alarcón. Okay, Mauricio, I need you make an invitation to Luis Canales. You invite Luis, Mauricio. Okay, cualquier cosa, menos permitido. <laughs> eh, ver una película, ir a un partido de fútbol, ir al parque, ir a la playa, lo que sea. Pero ahí. Luis, okay. Luis, do. Would you like to go fishing? Okay. Luis, you say yes, right? Yes, I would like. Sorry, yes, I, the microphone. I would like to. Would like yes, to. I would, or yes, I would like to. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, thank you. Thank you, Mauricio. Oh, thanks. Okay? Good. Thank you. Now, okay. Luis Canales. Now, Luis, you make the invitation to Karen, right? Okay. And Karen, you say no. Karen, would you like to go to cinema on Friday? Me dijo que, que contestara no. que no. Ajá. Uh, I like to pack. Y aquí en vez de que sea una excusa o, o, uh -huh. o algo que tenga que hacer. Ajá. Uh, I, I, I like to, but it needs to set money. <laughs> ok. No quiere gastar en palomitas. Bien. So, all right. Thank you, Karen. Ok. Now, Karen, you make an invitation to Mirna. Right? And Mirna, you say yes. You accept the invitation, Mirna. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, Mirna, go to like to go uh, eat pizza. Así sería. Yes, yes, perfect. Yes. Would you like to go to eat pizza? Yes, I would. Excellent. Very good. Now, Mirna, you make the invitation to Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, you say no, right? Okay. <laughs> would you like to go to a stadium on weekend? I like to, but I have to work very late. Okay, thank you. Now, Jennifer, you make the invitation to Marvin. And Marvin, you say yes. Okay. Okay. Marvin, would you like to go 
uh, period on weekend? Marvin Lue. Yes, I would. Okay, thank you, Marvin. <laughs> now you, you make an invitation to Christina, right, Marvin? And Christina, you say you say no, Christina. Uh, Christina, would you like to go at Metro Centro? Uh, I like to, but but I need studying for my exam. For English. <laughs> Okay, now <laughs> yes. Cristina, you make the invitation to Marvin and Marvin, you say yes, Marvin Castro, Marvin Castro. Okay, would you like to go drink a coffee? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Listo, coffee, right? Okay, Marvin, you make an invitation to Leonora. Leonora, you say no. No, le escuché. Marvin eh, Castro, you make an invitation to Dinora. And Dinora says no. Okay. Would you like to go to a park? park? Dinora? I'd like to, but I need to money. I need to save. I need money. to save money. Okay. Quiere ahorrar dinero. Okay. I'd like to say, Dinora. Thank you. Now, Dinora, you make the invitation to Avi. And Avi, you say, yeah, right? But create sentence. For example, you can say, hey, would you like to go to eat pupusas, to eat tacos, peripanes, hamburgers, you know? Okay, come on, Dinora, make the invitation to Avi. Okay, uh, Avi, uh, would you like to go eat pupusas? Yes, I really like to go. Okay. <laughs> you love pupusas, eh, Abby? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now, Abby, you made the invitation to Josabet. And Josabet, you say no, right? Uh, Josabet, would you like to go to the beach on Friday? Um, I like to, but I have a meeting. Okay, thank you, Yosabet. You're very responsible, Yosabet. Now you make, the <laughs> you make the invitation to Rocio, right? And Rocio uh, say yes. Um, Rocio, would you like to do something tomorrow night? Yes, I will. Okay, right? Actividad entre chicas. <laughs> okay, Rocio, you make the invitation to Veronica. And Veronica says no. Okay. And Veronica, would you like to go bookstore on weekend? Perdón. Vuelvame a repetir la pregunta. Would you like to go bookstore on weekend? Uh, I like to, but I need to say money. Ok. Hay varios ahorrativos en este grupo. <laughs> ok, Verónica, you made the invitation to um, Godofredo, right? To Godofredo. Ok. En Godofredo. Godofredo. Ok, Godofredo. Would you like to go to the parks on the Saturday? Yes. I like, I love to. Thank ok. You. Thank you, Godofredo. Now, who's missing? Que me hace falta? Mauricio Larcón, right? Now, Godofredo, make an invitation to Mauricio. And Mauricio, you say no, right? Mauricio, would you like to go play the guitar on Sunday? Mauricio Larcón? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Who's missing? Que me hizo falta? Luis, Luis Canales, si participó, ¿verdad? Yes, Luis. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, Mirna también me participó, ¿verdad, Mirna? Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Let's talk to all participants. Now, uh, I need you to make commentary, write commentaries. And I will give you one example how to do that, right? Eh, quiero darles un ejemplo por si alguno todavía no sabe cómo eh, dar comentarios y cómo interactuar en la plataforma. Eh, voy a tomar yo el rol de, de Godofredo, por ejemplo. Eh, y Godofredo quiere comentar algo que quiere hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, le doy aquí donde dice Add Post, ¿sí? Donde dice Add Post. Y ahí aparecen dos cosas, miren. En el color azulito le dimos, ¿verdad? Aparece el title, el título. Y aquí, aquí aparece el comentario. Generalmente para, para ubicarnos en la conversación le ponemos un nombre. Aquí vamos a poner Godofredo. Torres, ¿verdad, Godofredo? Ok, Godofredo Torres. Sí, sí. Ok, y Godofredo viene y hace este comentario, dice. Es más, le gusta practicar con las contractions. Y dice, I love to eat pupusas in planes de rendero. ¿vale? Supongamos que ya está abierto. Todavía está cerrado, pero digamos que ya está abierto. Planes de renderos. ¿Ok? Period. Y viene él y quiere que aparezca su comentario, entonces le da submit. Veamos. Y aquí está ya Godofredo, miren. Ya dio su comentario, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vengo yo y quiero comentarle algo a Godofredo. Quiero seguir con la plática. Entonces vengo y le doy aquí, miren. Donde dice un uno. Le doy clic. Y le respondo a Godofredo aquí. Y le digo, ¿verdad? I like to go. Lo vamos a hacer más grande para que me vean ahí. Ok. Ahí estamos. I like to go to... I like to go, I like to eat, sorry, to eat pupusas too, ¿verdad? Ojalá no nos vea escuchar a Abby que se nos va a pegar ahí también porque a él le gustan las pupusas también. I like to eat pupusas too. ¿Ah? Y ahí... Ay, el... <laughs> ok, submit. Ahí está, ¿ves? Javier Gómez le respondió a Godofredo, ¿eh? Y me voy aquí a los comentarios y ahí aparece un doble. Ahí está, ¿ve? Y aquí está supuestamente, ¿verdad? Soy yo, pero lo hice como que fuera Godofredo. ¿Ok? Entonces, así quiero sus comentarios. Cada vez que veamos estos videos, yo voy a leer sus comentarios acá y voy a leer sus nombres, sus bellos nombres aquí arriba. Y acá las oraciones, ¿verdad? Si hay que hacer algunas correcciones, las hacemos en clase o si quieren, pues yo les respondo acá y les corrijo, ¿verdad? Como ustedes quieran. Pero lo importante es que uh, ustedes interactúen en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque así entiendo yo que han entendido el tema. ¿sí? Y cuando sus compañeros leen sus comentarios, ellos quieren comentar también y dicen, ah, ven, Godofredo lo escribió, lo escribió bien. Yo también voy a escribir un comentario. ¿eh? ¿Ok? Entre más comentamos, más eh, uh, los demás. Aquí tengo a Silvia. Silvia Hernández, ¿verdad? Would you like, aquí le faltó una ahí. Would you like to eat fish? Yes, I would. ¿No? Está bien. Eh, ¿Usted, verdad, Silvia? Silvia. Ok, ya, ya se salió Silvia, creo. Ok, good. Silvia Hernández. Ah, no, 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 hoy no entró Silvia. Sí, hoy no entró. Ok, entonces quiero sus comentarios. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Recuerden, solo después del video le damos Add Post, ponemos nuestros nombres, nuestros ejemplos y comentarios y ya le damos Submit. ¿Verdad? Y aparece nuestro comentario ahí. Good. Any question? Before to finish? Mi uh -huh. teacher. Yes, just a bit, please. Este, fíjese que 
este, con respecto a lo que estamos viendo ayer de, del que no chat 4.4. No sé si lo puedo poner. Sí, sí, claro que sí. Esa es la idea, yo saber. Me fascina cuando me hacen preguntas. 4.4 me dijo, ¿verdad? El, el, sí. el knowledge check. Sí. Knowledge quiere decir conocimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, chequeando su... Chequeando que sabe usted. Ok, aquí dice... Do... Das... Mm, don... No, pues no. Estas son cuatro cosas que va a responder. Recuérdese que son preguntas y respuestas, ¿verdad? Aquí, por Ajá. ejemplo, dice... You like scientific. Entonces, ¿qué va a poner? Do o das. No puede poner ni don ni dasen porque, porque no es una oración ni es una respuesta, es una pregunta. Tiene que Ajá. usar do o das. Ajá, es que yo ya lo hice, pero solo una, una me salió mala. Entonces, ¿Cuál es la no que sé le por sale qué, mala? Donde dice Jake, ¿cómo es la tercera? Jake creo. Elisa. Ah, ok. La, la cuatro, ¿eh? Ah, ¿Qué le puso cinco, usted? Perdón. Do o das. ¿Qué le puso? Das. Das, porque aquí está Jake, de... ¿verdad? Pero Ajá. fíjense yo saber que también está Lisa. Y si no, ponemos... pero es la 5. Ah, bueno, perdón. Pero en Jake y Lisa aquí es, es do, ¿verdad? Sí, do. Sí, ok, muy bien. Jake, en... uh, aquí le tiene que poner, eh, bueno, está preguntando si a Jake y a Lisa le gustan las, las novelas, ¿verdad? A mí no me uh -huh. gusta pero pone que a Jake y Lisa, entonces dice, a Jake, sí, dice, le gustan, Ajá. pero no sé a Lisa, si a Lisa le gustan, yo sé que a Jake sí, entonces aquí le vamos a poner, como es afirmativo, das. No, Ajá, yo le puse. Ella doesn't. 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 Ay, Ay, que yo intenté con todos y todas me salían mal, es la única que estuve mal. Bueno, entonces <risa> déjeme ver cómo sonaría. Jake doesn't, but I don't know. Bueno, tiene lógica también, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a hacer. Porque esto no lo he hecho yo, ¿verdad? Yo eso hubiera hecho, le hubiera puesto das y después hubiera intentado con doesn't. Vamos a ver. Yo si, intenté si hasta los, los, los pronombres y no me, no me salía bien, entonces por eso pregunté. Por eso, vaya. Muy, no, no se preocupe. Es más, esta clase para eso es, ¿verdad? Para que usted. Me, ah, pues sí, es doesn't. Ah, ok. Thanks. Das, Jack doesn't. Es que solo iba a poner o das o das, en verdad. Ah, a okay. Jake no le gustan, dice, pero no sé acerca de Lisa. Ok. Thank you. Okay. ¿Alguna otra que tenga duda? Yo sabes. No, 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 solo, solamente. Las demás ya las hizo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Y las secciones 1, 2 y 3 ya las completó, yo sabes. Sí, ya terminé sí. las 5 también. Ok. Excellent. Congratulations. ¿Hay alguien más que.? que que no haya completado la sección 1, 2 y 3. No tengan pena, ¿verdad? Eh, mi Hola. teacher, Luis Canales. Luis Canales. Yo no le... ¿Cómo va, Luis? O, o sea, por, por el momento sí ya terminé. El, o sea, la 3 y la 4 sí, pero la 1 y la 2 no la he terminado. Ah, bueno. O sea... No importa, puede ir atrás para adelante, pero termínela, ¿verdad? Y ahí va a Sí, sí, el fin de semana. Cuesta, ¿Verdad? Usted apúnteme, okay. digamos, el 2.5, el, el 1.8, apúntelas y después me manda al grupo, ¿verdad? Y ahí le, le ayudo. Okay. Oiga, vaya, ¿quién más me, me habló ahí antes de terminar la clase? ¿Alguien, una chica estaba preguntando ahí quién, quién era. Ya se me desanimó, ¿verdad? ¿Quién me estaba preguntando? ¿No era usted, Cristina? No. No, no, teacher. No, no, ¿quién no. era? Bueno, no sé. Pero igual, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos para contestar las preguntas. Es más, esta clase es para eso. O sea, yo les doy a ustedes, eh, practicamos y les doy eh, información, pero el propósito principal de la clase de Zoom es ayudarlos a ustedes a que contesten. ¿verdad? No darles la respuesta, sino que apoyarlos a darles ejemplos similares, a explicarles... En este caso yo decía que era DAS, pero no era DAS, en verdad. ¿Y ¿Cuáles son las la respuestas más apropiadas que podrían dar en un ejercicio, verdad? ¿Ok? Así que ahí estamos en la orden. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. See you, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, bye.